Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be going over method chaining design pattern. What is method chaining? Why do we use it? What is it good for? So method chaining is actually good for calling a method on another method. So you might have seen this before. So maybe if you uh, if you do some JavaScript, you'll notice that, you know, a promise usually has a dot then function and then, you know, a dot finally function, a dot catch function. So for instance, let's say I wanted to make an HTTP request, um, you know, I would have some, you know, some uh, promise here and then dot then dot, you know, finally and something else, right? Like dot catch. So this is called chaining because you're chaining multiple functions together. Now, when is this good or a good idea? Um, Okay, so let's say we wanted to interact with the database and we're building some sort of logic that's a uh, query builder for a relational database, right? So what we would do is we would create a class, we'll call it query builder. In this query builder class, we're probably going to have the actual query here as a string. So this is going to be a public property. And then we're going to make a couple of functions here. Well. It's a string, but it's gonna be an empty string. And now we're gonna have a couple of functions here. So the first one, we would be the select function. And then here, this could return, uh, you know, well, before we do a return, what we can do is we can pass in a parameter and let's just say, select the columns, right? So the columns is gonna be a string. So one thing we can do here in this select function is we can say something like, this dot query plus equals so we're appending to the uh, existing query function here so we're going to say plus equals and then in back ticks we're going to say select space and then we're going to do the column so select whatever column was passed in okay and then we're going to return this now we're going to create another function here so we have a select but then let's say we want to do a where clause right so in the where clause we can probably say something like where column and then we can say comparison and then we can finally say column two right so what we're going to do here is we're going to use the where function to compare one column to another column. Okay, so here we would say this dot query plus equals and then followed by the space and then back ticks again. So here we're going to start with a space. So we're going to say where and then whatever column we pass in and then space and then whatever comparison we're using and then space and then the other column that we're comparing it to okay where whatever is equal to whatever for example then we're going to hit a semicolon at the end just to make that valid and we're going to return this once again okay and then let's just have a get function here and in this get function we're going to return this dot query so Whenever we call the get function, it's going to actually return the query. So now we have a unique little query builder here and we want to use this query builder. So the way we use it is we're going to create a const here. We're going to call it QB, which stands for query builder equals new query builder. And then we can say something like uh, QB dot select. So let's say we're going to select the ID column where and then let's just say where I don't know where the ID does not equal one and now we're finally gonna call the get so what we just did here is we just chained a number of different functions so we chained the select function the where and the get so now we're gonna wrap this around the console.log and when we do that and run it, you'll see that we get select ID where the ID does not equal one. 
So we basically just built out a query builder. So let's say we wanted to select the ID and name of a user where the ID does not equal, I don't know, 20. We can run that and there it is. So this was an example of the method chaining design pattern. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit me with the subscribe, like, uh, hit the bell for notifications and comment below if you want to see more stuff like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something.